Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We are doing a rare stipulation draft for a, like, normal set, not a vintage cube, courtesy of Thanos and the Antibody. Uh, the stipulation is Wheel of Fortune, Signature Spellbook Edition, which is pretty comical, Arena Premiere Draft in Repeating... Oh, a Premiere Draft, eh? So, best of one? Okay. Um... Arena Premier Draft in repeating Wooberg order, getting a free pick if no cards of the color are available. So I got to take a white card, a blue card, a black card. And then if there's no like black cards, I get, I get any color. So, all right. Let's see how this ends up. That was quick. I'm ready. Okay. White card. A pacifism is probably the safest pick. Dire tactics is might be better because we're two colors. But these are kind of doing the same thing a lot of the time. And if we don't have the black, then this is just better, right? So I will then we'll donate to see the same and best of three to compare. Okay, so I guess we're doing back to back. I'm gonna take pacifism here. Uh oh. It's too bad we can't take your ultimate. Blue card, Essence Scatter, or Jubilant Skybonder. I think Jubilant Skybonder is better here because of the mana. I actually do think this is a format where you can actually play five colors, so... Oh my god, Spicy Jalapeno. You didn't start doing this until you said you were doing it last week. You're like... Alright, now, now we need a black card. Necropanther seems good. And if there's no... If there's no Blood, men, blood, blood bond, blood menace, blood. Go, fuck, what's it called? What's it called? Blood curdle, blood curdle. If there's no blood curdle, then I don't think. Uh, all right, so we're gonna red. I like that we're getting all these hybrid cards. It's probably making the, it's making the mana, or it's making our. Yeah, all right, I'll just take it. Yeah, the hybrid cards are making the the mana restrictions real like. Good. Alright, so now we're on green. Fertilid. I like a good Fertilid. Especially if we're trying to fix our mana. Alright, so now we're back on white. Uh, Probably just take Helica Glider. That's a Helica Glider right there, guys. Probably better than Maned Serval. Oh my god, this cat's going actually wild in the background. Blue. Both of these cycle, which is also good. That's wild. I'll take this guy. Do you still get it if I didn't follow through with it? Um, Yeah. I mean, yeah, because it's not like... You don't have to accept the gifted sub for me to get it. It just means you're sub for a month. All right, so now we're on black. So we have just lurking dead eye. What are we? What are we doing for fixing? Do we get to pick lands if they're in the pack? Because I, I feel like we do want some fixing lands here. Uh, we just took that. So we're on red, no red. So I'm probably just gonna take fertilid number dose. <clears throat> now we're on green. Yeah, since Simba gets decent. Now we're on white again. Light of hope. Sure, you can go on the sideboard. Dual lands count as the... Oh, that's great. So if, if, I, if, I have a, if I'm on white and there's a white dual land, I like it. I like it. All right, so we just took white, so now we're on blue. No blue, so we get whatever we want. Probably Adventurous Impulse. It does hit a land, which is very nice. So we're on black, right? So we can take whatever we want. Now we're on green, main serval. All right, so I definitely feel like we're base white green here. Does the, when, when the pack starts over, do we start over? Because I actually, based on like the land and like the last few picks, do we just start over? I 
I guess that would make sense, right? Because you're Wooberg, Wooberg, Wooberg. So that's like the first 15, right? It would be white, blue, black, red, green, then the same, then the same. So you'd always start at white again. Yeah, so that makes sense. Oh, man. Bone Lurker is so good, though. So is Extinction Event. Um, This is not a great pack for white, but I'll just take a second Necro Panther, I think. So blue, I kind of like Ominous Sea. I actually Dreamtail Heron. I think I like Dreamtail Heron a little bit better. And by a little bit better, I mean a lot better. Black, Cavern Whisperer, General's Enforcer. I don't think we're going to have a ton of legendary humans. I'm just going to take the Cavern Whisperer. So that was black. Now we're on red. Rumbler is good. Now we're on green. Thornwood Falls is probably the pick here. This is a 4 4 for 4. And it's a wolf bear. Hmm. I want to take the wolf bear. <whistles> on the wings of love, only the two of us. Forever flying high. On the wings of a... Alright, so we just took we just took Wolf Bear, so now we're on white again. <laughs> Meh. Unexciting. Now we're on blue, also unexciting. Black. Ooh, no black, so I get a freebie. Might just be Hornbash Mentor. Yeah, it's also a 3 3 for 3. It's one of the better statted ones, so that's pretty good. Thank you. Oh, Michael B. Well, but I didn't get the Twitch notification. Damn it, Twitch. Happy birthday, chat. Michael Biscuits. All right, so we just took the blue guy, right? We're on, are we on black? Oh, God, I forgot. Somebody tell me if we're on black. Oh, God, I think we're on red now. Okay, so we're taking the red. Now we're on green. No green, so I get a freebie. Probably going to take Glider. See, this is interesting because this is a draft I haven't seen any uh, Migratory Greathorns in. Or maybe I just wasn't looking for them because they weren't on color. Um, I'm going to take the... <sighs> what did it take? Oh, it took the Glider. Good, good, good. Okay, so phase. we'll take Phase Dolphin. That one's pretty easy. Um, black, we take the pill bug. Now we got a red. We'll just take this. And finally a green. Okay. Starting on white. We have no fixing lands whatsoever. Uh, Divine Arrow, Mythos of Snapdax, which isn't a great one. Valiant Rescuer, meh. Vulpakeet, and Divine Arrow. I think I'm just taking Evolving Wilds. I think that's, I think that would count, right? take the land all right so blue <clears throat> hampering snare eh, frost links mm, frost links is fine i guess it's not exciting black oh we get it we do get a boneyard lurker and it's a four four it's just real good so we have two necro panthers and a boneyard lurker man so now we're on green? No, red. Another serious hal so so sonorous Halmonder, not serious. 
That's a serious Hal Bonder. I like Unbreakable Bond too. Hmm. Hmm. Are we off by one? I don't think so. Because we start over at the beginning of every pack, right? So every pack is going to be white, blue, black, red, green, and then times three, right? So then every pack is going to start over with white again. No, because the last pack I got green, right? Wasn't the last pack supposed to be a green? I don't know. Anyway, we're on black. Now we're on red. And then we'll we'll have green and we have ten, right? Now we're on red? Oh, I'll take Windscard Crag. Yeah, that seems good. Alright, now we're on green. Uh, another impulse or these two don't seem great. I think it's just impulse number two. Could also take the forest. Uh, now we're on white again. Mained Serval. Blue. Uh, Essence Scatter. Blue. Now we're on black. This deck is going to be wild. I feel like this is a sealed deck. So now we're on red, right? Because we just took black. Now we're on green. Just take this guy. Now we're on white. So I get a freebie. I don't think it's a great return a human or a non. Yeah, actually, that seems almost decent. Blue, no blues. Red, we do have a red. Oh, no, that was, that was supposed to be a black, but I think it's still <laughs> I think it still worked out. Uh, red, no red here. And then green, last pick. Okay, cool. Oh man, this is whew. good grief. Fifty cards. I need ten cuts. We do have one wins card crag and one evolving wilds, guys. So what problem is? Hmm. Can cut the frost veil ambush. I don't think that's great. These guys are actually decent. So was Bushmeat Poacher. Bushmeat Poacher was good for me whenever I had it. Cut you. Um, I definitely want to play Dreamtail Heron. I think we can probably cut Phase Dolphin. And Essence Scatter. Like, I don't think we're an Essence Scatter deck. I think that's fine. What do I think about Death's Oasis? What is that? Oh, is that the is that the Abzan enchantment? I played it in my last draft, or in the draft the first draft I did today. I think it's good. Especially because you have a lot of like like so if you're if your guy die like it's interesting because I think like if your cavern, if like let's say you, you have a three drop and you put a cavern whispering on top of it, if they kill that creature, I think you can get the three drop back because it costs less than than, than the five that they killed. Essence scatter is really good. Interesting. I I mean like fertilid was I was I felt like I was more concerned with fertilid here. I don't know. We do have a nice mix of humans and non-humans. Human, human, double human, double necropanther. So I think this I think Survivor's Bond is actually decent in our deck, which is surprising. Let's 
take out Lurking Deadeye. I'm not. I'm never super impressed with Lurking Deadeye. I kind of like this guy as a trick. I don't think I love Unbreakable Bond here, but maybe. Jubilant Skybinder is actually not great. It's literally just a two-two for three with a with a restricted mana cost. We don't have that many flyers. Um, and it's a human, so I actually like I like Fer Ferocious because it goes really well with these Menace guys, and I also like Momentum Rumbler because I just think it's solid. I like giving it double strike is good. But I th I think we can cut. I, I think I'm gonna keep this guy because of the the Menace, but. And we also have a Windscarred Crag and Evolving Wild, so like putting one red in the deck doesn't really. I can see cutting one one man serval. Yeah, I think this is good. I, I think this deck is interesting looking for sure. So now we can have one mountain and one island to search out. If I hit red, there we go. Okay, so. One mountain, one island, that's fine. Otherwise... Actually, this is and this is five swamps, five forests, and five white sources with the the wind. So that's actually not bad. This is eighteen lands that we have right now. Dang it! What's our least represented color here? Nine nine Dang six. You. It's white, so we can actually cut one of the planes. Okay. All right, five color nonsense. Here we go. Icarus, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. 13 months, man. A, a little over a year, my dude. Um, yeah, I'll keep this. Oh, you think cutting swamp instead? My issue is like we have double these these are double double black. Whereas all of our white cards are single white. And so this is why we want to play swamp here, because if we draw another land, we can just play this guy. I mean we can also just play this guy into bush meat poacher, I guess. Oh, I actually meant to give it flying, but I actually I don't think first strike's terrible here until they put a until they mutate onto this with a migratory great horn. And then we should have just made it flying, but Windswept Teeth. We got a windswept teeth in the deck? I don't know. I didn't even know fetch lands were in this format. Oh wow. Really? That's wild. <laughs> Whatever the red white land is. <laughs> I knew what you meant. I was just giving you a hard time. Mm, no blocks. <laughs> wind scarred wind wing scarred karg is if is if you guys combine the two together this guy getting in there they're gonna untap this guy with a trick Feathers be scratchy. It's true. Scarring y'all up and down. I've had a bottle of wine and two bowls of... <laughs> oh my god, Tano's. Working from home, man. Good gravy. Um, I kind of like this. And let's see what we hit. 
See, now this if this guy had flight, oh, what a mistake. What an actual, what a boner. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, second black seems relevant here, because we can play Sonorous Halbonder. And then we can actually sack this guy and then Necropanther onto something if we had... I guess we can play Coilbug and, and Necropanther. I've also pulled another 20 inches of English Ivy Weeds. 20 inches or 20 feet? I always get the, the feet and inches symbols confused. Probably 20 feet, right? Because inches is not that impressive. It's like, wow, you pulled 20 inches of weeds. That's basically nothing. Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay. We figured it out. If this ends up costing me because I just can't get in there for like extra eight points, I'm going to feel all bad. Because I even made a reference in the very beginning of this format, like, and I, I think I make it regularly, about how this guy is never, no one ever chooses to give this guy first strike. And then I'm just like, here's first strike. Uh, sure. <laughs> is that a Stonehenge reference? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. It's it they look much they that's not they're not very big, are they? Oh man, this is Spinal Tap is so good, dude. Um My turn. I'm gonna actually sack this guy, I think. He just ain't doing anything. Oh, big fat wolf man? Let's let's impulse adventurously. Ooh, an island is nice. Oh, next turn both of these guys can attack? Oh baby. I feel like we're living the dream right now. I don't care about that guy. I don't even care. Don't touch. Don't even look. Don't even breathe on it. Uh, I don't think we're sacking anybody here. Oh, that guy's maimed. This time we're giving you a float, my dude. Alright, so if we attack with these two, they're both 4-4s. Four it's going to trade with one of them. That's fine. I mean, they could triple block here, too. Eh, still fine. I'll eat this regal Leosaur, and then I get to keep my... I guess, yeah, they, can only, they only block one of them, so... Put that dude in the front. No, no, the Leosaur in the front, right? Yeah, that guy's gotta go. Oh, we can Survivor's Bond, get this guy back, and nothing else yet, but... Well, now we can get them both back. God, see, if we had another land, we could sack that dude, draw a card. Our deck's actually looking pretty good. Take out the cat so he can't mutate. Wow, this is, this is wild. I'll double block. Are you coming in here? Are you coming at me, bro? Oh, you did not come at me, bro. The year of the cat. Take action. So they're probably going to block the wolf bear. Which is fine. I'll just replay the wolf bear. <sighs> what are you going to do, wolf bear? Oh, you're just going to take eight. 
Oh, no, you're not. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do both of them. Both of them. And... Wolfie B. Feels like we're in good shape, even though our deck is weird. Got this five color pile. Maybe it's not too bad. Okay, so did they? Oh, they play. Uh, did they mutate onto this? What happened? They played this, and just cast this. Okay. Um. Seems fine. Oh, they played it as a man. <laughs> oh, good gravy. They sure did. They sure did. Play it as a man. Alright, one down. I think our deck is sweet. Thank you so much for the resub, oh, the resub buddy. I ch oh, Chris, that actually that makes a lot of sense, buddy. So long, backlight. Welcome, Cubs. Welcome. Back from backlight to Cubs. What up, my dude? Chris, I like that you and I only met that one time at Yoakum's house, and then like we've been friends ever since. Like that's super cool, man. Magic's wild. This hand seems great. Our deck seems wild. Thanos and Antibody. I'm surprised the stip actually worked out as well as it did. I hope we can run it back and then I can open a snap dax in my traditional Ikoria draft. That would be sweet. I mean, we could also get crushed. We could go like we could go like 3-3, three, three, right? It's definitely possible. Oh, the five color companion seems great. Can I first pick that though? I don't think so, right? It has a white mana symbol on it. Do we have are we playing commander rules? Oh, I like a boneyard lurker here. And a and a necro panther. I feel like our deck just has a lot of value. How is the human drafting going on NT? I think it's fine. I it's hard to compare the two because they're not like it's not Like there's just not big there's not a big enough difference to like to really nitpick, you know what I mean? Y you feel me? That was really rude. But I get that dude back. Oop, there goes gravity. Snap back to reality. This guy does put it into play. This guy brings any permanent back to your hand. What if what if we run it back, but my first pick I can choose what color? So if there's like a if like there's a bomb that I want to take, I can pick what color. But then I have to go Wooberg from there. So, like, if there's, like, 
you know, the... Like, the like there, there's a Brokos, right? Then I could be like, oh, I could take the Brokos. And then because it's three colors, I could be like, let me figure out what the next... You know, I, I would play whatever whatever the next card would be. Based on... Based on the Brokos. I don't know. You guys know what I'm saying. Um... How about a Fertilid? We do need to land here. See, this is how it's going to go. My opponent's going to be like, I'm just going to kill you with Excavation Moles. Yeah, first card, any choice, then run the wheel from that point on the wheel. No blocks. I'll take another three. That guy got hard cast. That's wild. Hmm. Over. Oh, yeah. No attacks. We are not on the offensive here, my dudes. Actually, maybe Durable Coilbug was better, because if they do kill this, which it looks like they're going to, then we'd have something to Bone Lurker onto and get it back. Yeah. That might have been what's known as a miss. Well, I could have just been reading it, too, so. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well. I assume, like, there's no plus one, so, like, I assume you have, like, the plus two, plus zero, oh, and indestructible. So we're just going to block here and see what happens. Huh. Shut up and take my money. That's fascinating. What's happening? Dang it, it's always so it's always so hidden. Winds of change. First pick free, announcing color chosen prior to pick, then follow that card's color around the Wooberg wheel. If the current color isn't available, it's a free pick. Awesome. What did they do? Oh, they charged. What did they reveal? A 2-2. Two, two. Alright, so actually I feel like we're actually in pretty decent shape here, to be quite honest. I want to hit a land here. Come on, land. There's got to be a land in the top three, right? Planes is great. That'll do. Um, just slamming Boneyard Lurker seems good, right? And then next next turn we can Necropanther to get back Necropanther and, like, fertile it? Yeah. And we know they have a 2-2 and a blank in their hand. No, not, you know, a blank as in we don't know what it is. Not as in, like, that's terrible. Sure. Thank you. Chad, what's going on, my dude? 74 months. That is a ridiculous amount of time. So they're returning probably Boneyard Lurker because that guy is bonkers. Dude, Chad, thank you so much, my dude. I appreciate you. Hopefully they play this and then we can make them discard with Cavern Whisper. Um, I kind of like Hornbash Mentor here. Yeah, that seems good. Um, let's Cavern Whisper here. I guess it don't matter. And you have a discard? Sure. What's it gonna be? Oh, the Boneyard Lurker. Wow, the other card must be bananas. Alright, well, we do go to six here. Maybe attacking wasn't the best idea. A land would be nice because then we can play two things.
sure. Okie dokie. Well, actually, we're probably just going to mutate this, and then that might be it. Hmm. Oh, it does return something to the battlefield, though. Yeah, that's good. Uh, under for sure. Let's get back Coil Bug because we can play. Oh, um, Tur we're returning this to the battlefield? Yeah, so might as well be Fertilid. And. Oh. Goes to the hand. Yep, that was that was bad. That that should have been backwards. That's unfortunate. Cause then we can play coil bug. Yep, that was a misclick. And a half. None of these guys this guy's trample, unfortunately, so they could for they could also just put this on here. Yeah, that was a miss. That was. I, I wish we stacked those differently. I mean, if they play this guy, we can block here and take three. If they play this guy, nothing happens. We still block here, take three. This is the only unknown. They can only play one thing, and they have to have three blockers for each of these. So. Yep. Oh, wow. So they're dead. That was a weird attack. Um. <laughs> what? Weird attack. Because, like, if they don't attack, like, they, they have the potential to kill us next turn with the 4-3 that just deals the trample damage back. But, yeah, because they could literally just double block the 2-2... Two -two. They would take four. I guess we'd, we'd attack with R2-2 as well. Wow. And that was after our historic misplay. All right. We're going to keep going. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Um, I don't hate it. We got two playables. Any green lets us play this three drop. That is not a green at all. Oh, well, that's a thing, I guess. Uh, not gonna pacify this guy. This does not let us play anything, unfortunately, so. That was, that was a nice one. You got D-Touch? See, now I kind of just want to... Now I kind of just want to pacify you. Or you could just block with Bone Lurker, pacify the next thing, and then Survivor's Bond get those two back. That seems good. Uh, 
Oh, look, another companion. They're more common and limited than they are in constructed, guys. Can you guess who? It's a mystery. Wow, please don't... Well, I guess it doesn't matter, right? We only have one thing in the graveyard, though, huh? Can you guess who? It's a mystery. I kind of like pacifism on one of these guys, not attacking. Maybe. Hmm. Hmm. It's actually tricky. Uh, I don't like it. I got a timeout. All right, I'm good. I'm good. I could just want to think this over for a second. I think it's this guy and pacifism. When does Cube come back? I have no idea, my dude. This is another human, so it's not great to have in the graveyard, but we could Necropanther and get back. We could also just Necropanther and get this guy back. Mmm. That seems good. attack, eh? So we want to hit a green here. Or I guess we can Necropanther onto, like, this guy to get back our three drop. Oof. Get another. Actually, maybe we want a blue. No, we want to be able to cast two green things in a turn. You got it. Oh, yeah, take that action. Block it. What? You're a maniac. that cute oh this is a nice trick though attack with everybody and then Let's see what happens Ooh -wee. we're gonna be leeching boys are we three oh are we three owing boys what this guy's got death touch that's wild. Do you have any other humans? No? Okay, well, we'll get rid of the human then. Actually, if we get rid of this, it's only a 1-1, one, one, so this guy lives, and I think that might be better. Well, all these are gonna... Th these two are gonna die anyway, so I'm just gonna, like, keep the horn bash mentor. Oh. 
And then I feel like we're way ahead. I don't know what, what do you mean death touch? Yeah, I know it has death touch, that's why we... But it removes the death touch counter is the point. Oh, it has death touch naturally? Oh, okay, good. That's I see what you're saying. See, there you go. That's what I was wondering. Um, I'll do... Wait, wait, cancel. Do I not have human in here? Oh, there's no humans? Dang. Dang. We could just play fertile and make a land, deal them two, and then they, like, they're dead on board. Oh, what up, J-Mart? All right, they're at one. Tanos, I'll see you in a bit. Interesting. Main phase blitz leech. Well, see, that's nice because now we get to survivor's bond for multiple dudes. Actually, I'll pass to attackers. Would you like to attack? Okay. I'll submit to myself and I'll get an island. I asked for Dumar, got nothing. I don't even know my favorite archetype is, my dude. Um, they got no floaters, right? Cook all. Get him. Get him. Uh, over. Why would you even ask me that? I cannot believe you've done this. Are we 3 0 with this ridiculous, uh. This ridiculous deck? My favorite archetype is probably to draft all the mutate creatures and get all the value. Bing ding, bing ding, bing. Oh, I got a will of the will of the all hunter. Wild, just wild. What a time to be alive. Thank you. Garador, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. I appreciate you. I went one, three, and three rounds and only won one game. That's a yikes for me, dog. This hand looks great if we can hit a white. I'm a big fan of that. Also, if we can go land into this guy and, like, just play the the 2-2 two -two into the Dreamtail Heron, then it's basically a uh, Wretched Griff, right? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, let's do that. And we're just taking the land here, right? The fourth land seems super relevant for us. Uh, 
It's definitely swamp here, and then nothing else. Oh, it's a little coil bug. Okay, well, that's a thing, I guess. It's probably just gonna die, but. <laughs> yep, that's what I figured. I think our first loss is incoming, guys. Just... Oh, we only have four lands, not five. Well, that's... Well, that's just great. I'll cast him as a man. I mean, if you got a trick, you got a trick. I'm not going to take seven here and go to three, so. Yep. Pretty sure we're dead. I don't think we're going to survive here. Yeah, I mean, we're just dead. There's nothing we can do here. We can we can play Survivor's Bond to get back human and bug. Chump block with a bug. Take four. Go to two. Have nothing on board. And then we're, then we're just dead on board. Yeah, alright, this seems good. Thank you! Aaron Poning, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. I like Wolf Bear. I think Evolving Walls is the pick here. I think we just want fixing. Well, that is a dude you can do your thing on to. Four, four. Okay. So we can go Evolving Walls for a white, I guess. Probably the best. Fascinating. Resolve. So we can just Cavern Whisper next turn? That's pretty good. Mm 
Let's get a white. Oh, I like a wolf bear too. Oh look, another another companion. <sighs> oh, you try to block with your turtle, huh? Not on my watch. can't have actually I kind of like glider here because then we get the boneyard lurker onto it next turn nah we'll just play this guy they can't have essence scatter because they have obosh so oh, I'm gonna cast my obosh by Oskosh Obosh. Hmm. Does not do much here. So they just go block here, block Obosh, and like Farfinder. Well, next turn we can Boneyard Lurker onto the Helica Glider, which is not bad. Whose companion is it now? I guess it's still there. It's still theirs. Oh god, they're gonna kill this with something. Oh, that's a cool pangolin. Cool pangolin, bruh. Crag is good. Boneyard Lurker gets back Evolving Wilds, which is nice. I don't know what they'll have for this guy. Probably something good, I would imagine. Yeah, there's Obosh for you. Oh, what up, Katie, my love? Katie's driving home from work. She just got done. Uh, over. If whenever a whenever a if you have source, you control with an odd card of mana, cost to deal damage to a permanent player. It deals double damage. Sure. Push it to the limit. I'm just gonna crack this right now. And get a blue. Yep. I'll take two. It's a knee slapper.
pretty good. Really? I guess I'll take six? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Huh. Yeah, I guess they're just attacking here. So if they want to double block this guy, they can't block here, so they take eight, right? So they got to triple. They got to block every. No, I guess they could go double block here and then block with the far finder. Hmm. It's tricky. Uh, I don't know what to do here. So we want to block here. This is six damage, right? And then this is two and two, so that's ten total. So all they have to do is untap activating. Yeah, I guess we can't. This guy do have menace, but mm -hmm. sure. Wait, what? How did this die? Because this dealt two? Oh, and this dealt two. Okay, cool, 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 cool. That makes sense. Um, rotate onto this guy, Brotato. I was like, but how did you die? I do not get it. <coughs> okay. Whenever this creature mutates, return a permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. Um, yeah, they screwed me on the colors. Um, it's got to be this guy that goes to the hand. Oh, maybe not. Maybe that's fine. Take two, go to nine. Pretty sure we're dead this game, too. Man, Flying Obosh is pretty good. What do I do to have to be your love? Play Tron? Why would I ever why would why would that ever be the the thing? Uh okay, so instead of taking six, I'm gonna block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight mana. We have six mana after this, four mana after this, menace on this guy. Oh, God, 
This is so. This is card's so good, dude. There's no human in our graveyard, so we can't actually even get anything back. So we just have to get back Fat Daddy into Helica Glider, which I guess gives us another turn. Four, and I only have two mana left over. I don't know, like, this is six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? So, like, unless they block with this guy, it, that does, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I guess we gotta get back Squirrel. Um... Yeah, let's get neck neck neckery boy. One, two, three, four. We have two left over after that. Yeah, we don't really have a choice, unfortunately. Plus that if we if we attack they can just go block your three, three, block your four, four. It just doesn't do anything. Yeah, we're just dead here. <laughs> Like, we just can't deal with Obosh. Like, I don't think we have a card in our deck. Even, like, Pacifism, it makes their other cards so much better. Like, we just don't have the removal for it for a companion, which is... Kind of sucks, but that's the format Wizard wants, so... Companions are cool. Companions are cool! Have they decided to ban anything recently? Nah. But I mean, also, no one's playing competitive magic outside of, like, Arena, so... Definitely getting a Swamp here. Nope. Oh my god, that almost looks like a like it looks like a swamp. Whew. It's close. Coil bug. That's a cool little draw. Hey, what a cool little draw. Now I can glide on over next turn. <sighs> I'm playing Lucha, my team are drafted. Yo, you don't think so? You don't think having a free free eighth card in your hand against every opponent while also at the same time being able to copy one of your removal spells? Wow. Who saw that coming? Up time. Everything is alright. Gorilla. I guess they're just gonna go all in on the menace. Well, I guess we're taking six. That's a yikes for me, dog. Any more drafts left? Yeah, one more after this. Got another, got another stipulation here, actually.
cool. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash franklapore. Patreon.com slash franklapore. Manitraders.com and cool stuff inc. every Wednesday for new articles. You can use promo code frank5 to get 5% off your purchase. And uh, you can go to like patreon.com slash franklapore and donate one or two dollars a month. That's a great way to support the channel. And when I feel like blowing my brains out in a match like this, it really helps. It makes me say, okay, you know what? There's light at the end of the tunnel, you know, and then uh, that's all you really need sometimes when your opponent gets the nut, the nut draw with the, uh, the menace deck. So, you know, it, it just, you know, it just, it just helps out a little bit. It just, it's nice. It's a nice feeling. I'm going to concede though, because they have six unblockable damage on the board and they can just sack their guys. So we're, we're, it's literally what's known as dead on board. What do I think of the current state of modern? I, I have no thoughts on the current state of modern. I haven't even looked at modern in like two months, but thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.